Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are making a 44 Magnum. So this is an entirely 3D printed prop gun, of course not real in any way. And the actual design that the guy made for this, which will be linked in the description below, is completely original. So it's not actually based on a real weapon or anything like that. He actually fully made it from scratch and we're going to put it together. So first of all, biggest project I've done so far, we did have a few issues. So when I was building the actual body here, or 3D printing the the body this part lifted up but thankfully it failed quite early on in the print so i could get uh, back to print that again and it second time worked like a charm so yeah this is a really cool and complicated project to put together the actual design as well is made to be put together with real screws but i'm going to replace all those with 3d printed little pegs that'll be glued in instead of making uh or instead of going out and looking for the specific screws i would need for this I'm also using the 3D filament that I have on hand, so I've got quite a lot of grey, so we could do that. But because I want this to look like a prop rather than a real weapon, I've gone for purple filament for the grips. And then all the pegs that I'm using to put it together, I'm going to print them out of black, so we have some nice contrast. I've also been very fancy in switch the filaments during the print of the sights, so that they're black, then they switch to kind of like this lime green, just like in real life where that would be glowing green, uh, obviously. This ain't gonna glow, but it looks surprisingly good. You really get an impression that those are sights like of a real weapon. The ones on the front, I probably should have done the switch over later, but I'm quite happy with both of them. They've come out really good and they fit incredibly snug into the holes that were made for them. I actually brought them down by a few percent because the original size when I printed them off just seemed to be too tight when 3D printing from my 3D printer. But uh, yeah, looks really good, fits in amazingly well, and doesn't even need glue for these parts. But anyway, let's start gluing this together. So I've got glue in the holes here, which is just a slow acting super glue, so that I've got a bit of time to work if I decide to pull anything out, if I do anything wrong. And we're just gonna put in pin top and bottom for the barrel. This holds amazingly secure in there. And then we're just gonna clamp it up and leave it to completely solidify. This 3D model also comes with multiple barrel choices. So we could have gone for a snub nose, we could have gone for an extended barrel, and there's also been a bunch of remixes for additional barrel types too. But I just went for the standard one. It seemed to be a pretty reasonable size. I thought the extent, a little bit too much. Snub nose, a little bit too small. And here we are with the whole thing almost entirely done. We've glued all the different pegs in and different parts and just left it to solidify so we're gonna how good is see if this works so first of all the cylinder that's obviously got to turn the uh, hammer has to pull back and spin the uh, cylinder too and we've got the trigger which also locks in with the hammer as well so yeah once we put this all together oh yeah I forgot about the rounds as well so we've got these and the first bunch failed unfortunately i was trying to print all three at one time did not work out, ended up doing three at a time and I decided to switch the filament. So we started black, so the bases of them are black, which has a nice contrast to the gray. Then it goes to gray, then it goes to green. And I think that's great because you can see them in the actual chambers when you're looking at the front, which is kind of cool. And that would denote, uh, I think, armor piercing rounds in real life, but obviously not with these shapes of the rounds. But yeah, that's our Magnum completely constructed now. So it's time to see if the moving parts actually work. And I've got to say, I'm amazed I didn't actually stick anything together that I didn't want to, and it works. It's not perfect, it just needs to sometimes go over slightly, but sometimes it does actually work perfectly fine. And yeah, it looks so cool. My most complex 3D print so far, I only had a couple of fails as well when printing this with different items, so you know, very happy overall. And it, it really does look absolutely exceptional. So <laughs> I'm amazed at it. I'll leave you guys with a couple of high quality photos. So you can see some of the different angles that you can get of it. But yeah, very well made 3D print. And I, I think the only thing that's wrong is my kind of put it together. I think the at the back here, if I maybe had the tolerance a little, a little bit less, we would get that full rotation. And the plastic pins actually worked out really well. Although screws would have looked better and probably make it a more authentic look. But I wasn't going for authentic. So I think the pins and the color contrast 
have really worked out well in this and i think it just looks really really freaking cool and the green sights are probably the highlight for me because it does just kind of feel a bit more real even though it's extremely uh, when you're holding it it definitely feels fake because obviously it's mostly hollow plastic but uh, those little green sights just i really do add something when you're looking down the barrel but anyway let me know what you think of this 3d creation in the comments below and thank you very much Thank you.